Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back to kick off round 7 for Group D. We are concluding the group with the two for with two former champs in it, so let's have a look at our fight card for this session. So, you can see our main event, it is Morsler going up against Dino fans. Both guys have enjoyed a good tournament so far, but Morsler currently sitting outside the top 4 will need to win that match and hope other results go her way. As for Dino fans, victory for them could well, or pretty much take them through. But before that, we have got N-Steel versus D-Team. That's also a big match. Both teams currently sitting in the top four. Whoever wins that will definitely go through. And then we have Gazmaniac versus Diddy Darius. Gazmaniac needs to win to get in that top four. Defeat and it's all over for them. But at first, it is Ultimate Dino King going up against Epic Brad. Right then, in the red corner for Ultimate Dino King, we have got Ainiosaurus. Victory for Ultima Dino King and they all but secure top spot in this group. And that could be important, well it will, could be important going forward because the runner up in this group will play Dexin in the last 32 round and will be on the other side of the draw and have a possible last 16 match with Maastrician. So it is important for Ultimate to win this group to be on the easier side of the draw and set up a match with our tournament host Stranger Gamer. Right, in the blue corner for Epic Brad we got Alpha Chasmosaurus. So even though I'm pretty confident Ultimate will get out, will go through, regardless of what whether they win or lose, it is important for them to top this group. And that is a good start. A Thunder Bazooka, a massive hit from Ultimate, and well, Epic Brad are already out. Um, it, it, it hasn't happened for them, but can they finish their tournament on a high and claim a famous scalp? Oh, hello. That's a banana surprise. Good response from Epic Brad. Whee! Ooh, that's a tie. But again, ties will suit the Ainiosaurus. It's got the Plasma Anchor. It's got the tie attack. Ooh, but that suits Chasmosaurus, and that suits it even more. Gatlin Spark, that's going to finish off Ainiosaurus and give Epic Brad the lead. And we are a good chance to extend this lead because he'll have type advantage over Sapiosaurus. Although he is on pretty low health, actually, now that I think about it. Anyway, coming in next for the Dino King, we've got Sapiosaurus. Sapiosaurus has been a mixed bag so far in this tournament for Ultima. We've seen what it can do and we've seen it suck. But we know how effective that Futaba Cannon can be after several times. Okay, there's a crit. Quick as a wink, Chasmosaurus dispatched. Alpha Slash! Right, coming in next for Epic Brad, we got Spiny Tector. Well, Dino Tector can make all the difference in this match. But Ultimate knows that, they've got to be careful. Can't allow this thing to get too many hits, and ideally, want to kill it quickly. Um, it doesn't have Ocean Panic, so it doesn't need to worry about that. Tight, but that's exactly where Ultimate wants it. Does buff up the Satiosaurus. It's another tight. Well, can't afford too many ties. It does want to get hit, and it does get a hit. The willpower effect is going to activate there. Aqua Vortex is also going to get triggered. Ah, this makes things interesting. A shockwave. It's going to get rid of one of Spiny's moves, but the Aqua Vortex does give Epic Brad the chance at a hit. And it could be an important hit, because the Satyosaurus will go for a crit here. That could be a big hit from Epic Brad. A crit, and that Spino was done. But instead, it's an Aqua Vortex, and that's going to get rid of all the Satyosaurus' moves. Brilliant. Pl that's a brilliant play from Spiny. Oh, hello. What we got here? Oh, it's a shockwave of his own. Giving Ultimate a taste of his own medicine. Well, you know what that means. Spiny will be going for the crit. Ah, oh, sorry, you can't go one. And gets the crit! 
of Futaba Cannon. That Aqua Vortex was huge. Well, we saw in the previous video how big an Aqua Vortex can be. And that takes out Satyosaurus. Right, coming in third for Ultima Dino King, we've got Myasaura. Well, they still want to win this match. They don't want to take leave it to chance. And that's what they're doing at the minute. Oh, Spiny getting a hit, and the Dino Tech is full, so you know what that means. It's Dino Tech the time. Dino Tech that on. Well, Ultimate Water here, Epic Brad will be finishing on a real high with a bonus point win. Okay, that's a tie. That triggers the two platoon crash. Oh, that is the two platoon crush. Ultimate dodges a big, big bullet there. Gets the attack boost going as well. Unfortunately for Epic Brad, it is a chance missed. They still have the lead. You know, they're still well in contention to win this match. But unfortunately, they're not going to get the ultimate water off this time. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, that's Ultimate Dino King for you. Getting the big hits when it matters. Right, coming in food for Epic Brad, we have got Therizinosaurus. I'd still say Epic Brad still has a pretty, really good chance to win this match. And, and they have the lead. But could that Toot the Toon Crash galvanize this Myasaur to pull it back for Ultima? Ooh, that's a hit. An Anyang Gera dive. Good strike from Epic Brad, that guarantees the losing bonus point. Well, it does now because the Emerald Garden failed to trigger. Attack boost activating as well, but it doesn't matter because the Meyer is one hit away from dying. Okay, that's a tie, that triggers two platoon crush again. Ooh, Ultima gets the hit, maxing up the attack boost. Attack boost activating there. In fact, the tie, Ultimate will get a losing bonus point, which may still be enough. Oh, that's a tie, it's the Mime down, it's the Mime! And Ultimate does get the losing bonus point at the very least. And that tie will do it! Epic Brad gets the win! They finish their tournament on a high by claiming a scalp over Ultimate Dino King. But Ultimate Dino King does get the losing bonus point, which I personally think will more than certainly be enough to go through. But it does open the door for someone else in this group to win this group. Right, on to our next matchup. Right then, in the red corner, for Gazmaniac, we have got a Alpha Kentrosaurus. Victory for Gazmaniac takes them second in this group. A bonus point win, and they go level with Ultimate Dino King. They'd still be second, though, because they don't have the head-to-head, -head, but eh, they'd be level. But in the blue corner, for Diddy Darius, we've got Starachosaurus. And well, what can we say about Diddy Darius? They really haven't had a tournament. It's been a tournament to forget. But can they sign off in style with a win? A win which would, which would prevent them from finishing bottom. Ooh, Gazmania gets the first hit, it's a crit. They got the type advantage over this Dracosaurus. In fact, this is a pretty good matchup for them in all honesty. Oh, that's another hit! Banana surprise. Both of these two do have terrain advantage, they both got fire types. Oh, the move removal effect is activated, the earth barrier is activated. This is a good start from Gazmania. Right, they'll be going for scissors. And it's a tie. That does trigger the Quake Saber. Ooh, but it's Diddy Darius striking back with a crit. Getting rid of that Earth Barrier as well. That'll come in handy.
Ooh, but Gasminiak gets the next hit again. Is that going to be curtains for Stratosaurus? No. Defense will saving it from going down. But it won't save him this time. And just like that, Gasminiak goes into the lead. Right then, coming in next for Diddy Darius, we have got a Stegosaurus. Well, Diddy Darius was very unfortunate against D Team last time out. They lost to an awakened head. <laughs> and they are. They go, they're not having a good start here either. Oh, but that's a most welcome crit. An attack boost coming in as well. Good shot there from the Steg. Ooh, but the Kentrosaurus responds with his own crit. And another Earth Barrier. Okay, there goes the Earth Barrier. The attack boost is going to be maxed up. The Venom Fang is going to come in here, poisoning the uh, Kentosaurus. Oh, no. Blech. Spitties. But obviously, Earth Barrier limits the damage. Attack boost maxing up. But oh, another crit from Kentosaurus. I Seems to be that pattern. Diddy gets a hit, then Gasmaniac, then Diddy. Yep. <laughs> well, Gasmaniac will get the next hit anyway because he's got terrain advantage. Right, coming in next for Gasmaniac, we've got Torvosaurus with terrain advantage. He'll get the next hit. There'll be a paper hit. I, it might be lethal for the Stegosaurus. This thing is Hunter type. So maybe it'll take the Steg out. Or it'll leave it on a tiny amount of health. But still, Gas Maniac holds a decent lead in this match. Let's have a look. Oh, not even close. <laughs> Guess I overestimated it. Ooh, that's a hit from Diddy Darius. Attack boost did hit as well. Oh, but that's a crit. That death grind's going to down the steg. And Gazmaniac's going to go 2-1 up. But, coming in food for Diddy Darius, we've got Kakuridontosaurus. It's got terrain advantage, and it will get a terrain hit. Because the Torvosaurus already used his terrain advantage. And that hit will, in fact, be a crit. A welcome crit from Diddy Darius here. Still playing catch-up in this match. This has been very good from Gasmaniac so far. Oh, it's a Dino Stuffer! The Dino Stuffer's going to stop that crit! How huge could that be? Going to press stop to that terrain hit. Okay, can't get the hit. Diddy Darius is getting hits in this match, but Gasmaniac still holds a decent lead. Those Earth Barriers, the Dino Stuffer, keeping him in front. And getting hits of his own. Another crept. Oh. <laughs> okay, a light recovery coming in here. What we got is a Mech Crusher. Whoosh. Oh, I almost took out the Torvosaurus. I thought it was going to go down. Oh, the RNG's playing up. And of course... Hang on a minute. Of course, Gasmania gets the next hit because that's the pattern of this match. <laughs> Diddy gets a hit, then Gasmania gets a hit, then Diddy gets a hit. So I expect Diddy to get the next hit here. And he does! Well, like recovery gonna come in. Right, coming in food for Gazmaniac, we got a Titanosaurus. 
Super Titanosaurus Eyes await the mode on three. But given the state of this match, I don't think we're going to see an awakened pet. But you never know, stranger things have happened in this tournament. Oh, that's a four. Ooh, oh, did he get a consecutive hit? Net Crusher coming in here, that's a good hit. And the Aqua Vortex has been triggered. Right, that's one. Oh, but that's a Magma Blaster! Big crit from Diddy Darius! Boosh! Well, all of a sudden, things looking uncomfortable for, 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 for Gazmania. Oh, that's a tie! Could have done with that last time for the Aqua Vortex. And that'll do it! Is Gazmaniac's victory! Only just for the skin of their chin chin chin, they get the win! And you have to say, those earth barriers, the dino stuffer, made a huge difference. Take that out, Diddy Darius wins this match, and probably with a bonus point. But Gazmaniac claiming a huge win! And that puts pressure on the other four saps that are yet to play. Right, on to our third match. Right then, in the red corner for M Steel, we got Super Tarbosaurus, Awaken Mode on three. Victory for M Steel takes them top of Group D. That sets up and sets up a possible match with the hosts in the last 32 round. Defeat, and well, they'll have a nervous wait till the main event ends to see if they've done enough to get through. Right, in the blue corner for D-Team, we have got Super Chomp, Awaken Mode on 3. Defeat for D-Team here ends their tournament. And D-Team does have terrain advantage here, courtesy of Paris. Both our guys have Super Dinos. D-Team has the Dino Tech. Yeah, this is going to be a very intriguing match. If the random number generator decides to generate a number for me. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, come on, do it for me. Please. I beg. Oh, hang on, we got a four. And a one, so after, oh, after all that, we're starting with a bloody tie. Another tie. Ooh, M Steel gets the first crit. No, he doesn't. The Dino Stuffer is going to stop that crit. Good Dino Stuffer there from D Team. Right, that's once each. And D Team gets the first hit. It's a Gatling Spark. It's a good start from the D Team. Ooh, oh, but the death fire has been triggered. That could be big. A death fire here, and the Tarbosaurus could get an awakened hit on Ace. Oh, he doesn't get it. Instead, it is Chomp getting the hit. And the Tarbosaurus goes down. No awakened hit. No death fire. Not a good start for M Steel. Right, coming in next for M Steel, we have got Penky Ceratops. Well, he's going to have to pull this back because this has been a very good start from D-Team. They've got that big hit. They kept the awakened mode. And they stopped the death fire. And Tarbosaurus getting a possible awakened hit. Okay, Ensteel gets their first hit of the match. And they, they needed it. The, the momentum is with D-Team at the minute. And let me do a fusion. Oh, I don't want to go paper. Whoa, dodged a bullet big time there, gets the hit. That was a big gamble from M Steel. A crit, and the Pentaceratops could have gone down, but instead they get the hit. They stop and await the chomp getting an awakened hit, and they get an electric charge off. That was a gutsy play from M Steel. Oh, but Chomp gets the hit this time. It's a crit, it's a Thunder Bazooka. D Team extending their lead. Oh, 
Okay, that's a tie. Couldn't afford to get it by another bazooka. <laughs> well, D team keeps a good lead in this match. Right, coming in next for D team, we've got Ace Dino Tech that they still have a decent lead here. And remember, they've got terrain advantage with Paris in third. This. Well, this guy has won them quite a lot, few matches in this tournament on his own. And he's got the Dino Illusion as well, which is going to be a big problem for M Steel if they want to get back in this match. The key for them here, they've got to take out Ace, they've got to take him out quick. Oh, not let him get a hit! Okay, this. Oh, it's lethal! Well, M Steel in a bit of a pickle here because coming in third, we've got Ampelosaurus. Well, I have been really impressed with M Steel in this tournament, but they are faltering in the last couple of matches. They can't afford to lose this one. They do fall here, and Diddy Darius gets a losing bonus point against Morza. They will go out. Can't afford to slip up here. Oh, and that's a big crit. Okay, no Dino Illusion either. That's good news for M Steel. And another hit. A Water Sword. This is better from M Steel. Getting hits. And no Dino Illusion either, which is huge for them. Because that means they can they have a chance to kill Ace. Oh, not again. <laughs> the freaking random number generator's playing up again. Okay, that's a three. And that's a six. So after everything's said and done, it's a tie. Ooh, Ace does get a hit on the board. It's a crit. I don't think Dino Tech is going to be that much of a factor because two hits and D team will win. Oh, and it's hit number one. And remember, Paris has terrain advantage. So actually, this might seal the deal for DT. Okay, Carl Ace does go down. It won't be a bonus point win for DT. But with Paris coming in third with the terrain advantage, I think it is going to be DT's win here. The plot armor of the D team saving the day again. <laughs> Right, coming in third for D-Team, we got Paris, Super Paris, Awaken Mode on three. I don't think it's going to get that far, though, because, like I said, it's got terrain advantage. It's going to get the next hit, and I think it is going to be lethal for M-Steel. Either that or the Amplosaurus is going to survive by a sliver, but I do think it's going to go down. Let's find out. Oh, the Ampelosaurus does survive. M Steel still breathing, but they're in big, big trouble now. Can they at least get a losing bonus point out of this match? They can't. That tile duet. It is D Team's victory, and they are going to most likely go through to the last 32 round. Well, I have to double check the table first, but yeah, massive result for them. It gets them in the top four. Right. On to our main event now, and it is going to be a big... Right then, in the red corner, for Morsla, we've got Gondwana Titan. Victory for Morsla takes them through. And I will say, M Steel, even though they currently sit fourth, they are already out, because no matter what the result of this main event is, one of our teams is going to go into that top four above M Steel. So yeah, unfortunately for M Steel, they are going out of the group stage, which is harsh because they have been pretty impressive in this tournament but they have come up short right anyway in the blue corner for dino fans we've got the blitz type tarbosaurus so you know what that means they're gonna go for them two crits now the benefit here is that this gone one of titan does have tight advantage here so we'll see what these crits can do if dino fans gets any of them off okay there's one Oh, no crits this time. Instead, it is gone. One of Titan getting the first hit. And we are on the Dirt Plains field, which favours lightning types. But I don't think either of our guys have any. 
All Dino fans need is a losing bonus point out of this match, and they will go for it. Oh, 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 that's a Dino Stuffer. Big Dino Stuffer that could be. Putting a stop to that crept. Oh, that's a tie. And Dino fans getting a hit there. Their first shot of the match. Oh, we got a Flare Sword as well. That'll definitely help. It's one hit apiece. Well, two, but the Dino stuff has stopped the crit. And the crit probably would have finished Harbosaurus. Well, they're not going to stop that crit. Aqua Whip coming in. That's going to finish Tarbisaurus off and give Morslet the lead. And I will say, if Morslet wins and Dino Fans gets a losing bonus point, that knocks Gasmaniac out by virtue of the head-to-head. -head. Right, anyway, coming in next for Dino Fans, we got Ceratosaurus. Well, it's a crisis type. But Dino fans will hope not to be in a crisis come this match, come the end of this match. Ooh, is a hit, a tappy jar, a dive. Oh, the Gondi does survive. Only just though, I tell you. Okay, but that tile finish it off. A pretty even contest so far. This could go right down to the wire. Right, coming in next for Morslet, we've got Allosaurus. And now this Allosaurus has been very good for Morslet in this tournament. <laughs> can, it cont can it be impressive again? as a tie, but ties suit the Allosaurus. It is charge type. It's more of a tie specialist. That's another tie. It's not good for Dino fans. Well, nor is that. That's a hit from the Allosaurus and a tie bomb to come as well. Meow. Okay, that does trigger the Hurricane Beat, and we see Hurricane Beat. Tappy Jara Dive coming in. Massive hit from Dino fans. Boosh. Kickies. Little ratty kicks. And that puts him in the lead. Ooh, but that's a good tie from Moors at the bomb. The tie bomb will go off, but... Can't afford any more ties now. The Allosaurus will go down. But it does take out Ceratosaurus. These two Jurassic Predators finish their face off. And it's Allosaurus that's the last one standing. Right, coming in third for Dino fans. We've got Tank. Well, Morsel holds a slight lead. But Dino fans certainly not at this yet. We've seen how effective Tank can be. And remember, all Dino fans need is a losing bonus point. They go through. Bum, bum, dun, dun, dun. Oh, can't, let, can't afford to let that happen. That's a crit. That's a ninja attack. Massive hit from Moore's left. And his Dino fans dancing with disaster. Remember, all the. This is a big, big hit. Half health. That guarantees Morsel. Well, it doesn't because Tank can recover health. It does have some recovery moves. Okay, that's a tie. The tie bomb will go off, I believe. Oh, no, it doesn't because the Allosaurus does go down. All Dino fans needs to do is half this Pachycephalosaurus's HP and he goes through. Doesn't have to win. Coming in third for Morslet, we've got Pachycephalosaurus. All Morslet needs to do is just keep this going. And they'll win this match and they will go through. Oh, 
Oh, as another hit is Dino fans done in this tournament. The tournament is hanging on by a thread. Oh, that tide! That tide will do it! Dino fans is gone! And it's Morslet's victory, and they go through to the last 32 round at the expense of Dino fans. Well, that, is, that concludes Group D, ladies and gentlemen. So, we shall have a look at how, where everyone finished in this group and where they will be in the knockout rounds. So, yeah, that is Group D, ladies and gentlemen. A really, really tight group. D team topping it by virtue of the head to head against Ultima Dino King, who finishes second. Then we have Morsla in finishing third by virtue of the head to head they have over Gazmaniac, who sneaks through in fourth. And then these four poor saps going out, and wow, Diddy Darius, <laughs> five freaking bonus points. I mean, it does show how re how unfortunate they have been in this tournament. It's not like they've been blown away. Four losing bonus points. End Steel Dino fans, pretty unfortunate, 13 points. Epic Brad and poor old Diddy Darius, who's had an absolute rotten tournament, but does claim the most bonus points in this group. So there's that. Right, let's see where everyone is, because we have, do have quite a few confirmed matchups in this session. So you can see up here, D-Team will be taking on our host, Stranger Gamer, in the knockout rounds. And then, Ultimate Dino King for finishing second will have a tough match against Dexin, in fact. Another heavyweight on this side of the draw is Madness. And Morsla also on this side as well, going up against Team Argentina. And then we have Gazmaniac down here. They will take on whoever wins Group H, which as it stands, I believe is Black Rider. But yeah, definitely on the kinder side of the draw. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta.